Picture this. You're walking down the street in Japan and you're feeling a bit thirsty. Where do you go? To a vending machine, of course. In the land of the rising sun, vending machines are as ubiquitous as cherry blossoms in spring. They're quite literally everywhere, from bustling city corners to tranquil countryside roads. In fact, statistics show there's approximately one vending machine for every 23 people in Japan. Remarkable, isn't it? But these aren't your average soda and snack dispensers. Japanese vending machines offer a dizzying array of products. Need to quench your thirst? There's a machine for that. Craving a late night cigarette? There's a machine for that too. Caught in a sudden downpour without an umbrella? You guessed it. There's even a vending machine for that. Imagine the convenience of having virtually anything you need at your fingertips, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Next time you're in Japan, don't forget to check out their vending machines. You never know what you might find. Ever seen a square watermelon? Well, in Japan, they are quite the rage. Imagine a watermelon, but not the typical round one you're used to. Picture it square. Yes, you heard that right, square. This isn't a result of some strange genetic modification, but a testament to the Japanese knack for innovation and practicality. Farmers in Japan began growing watermelons in square-shaped containers. The reason? To make them easier to stack and store. Round watermelons, while natural, are not space efficient. They roll, they don't stack, and they take up more room than necessary. But a square watermelon? That's a different story. They fit nicely in refrigerators, they stack in stores without the fear of a fruit avalanche, and they just make life a tad bit easier. So if you're tired of your round watermelons rolling around, maybe it's time to take a page out of Japan's book. In Japan, it's not uncommon to see pets being treated better than kids. Yes, you heard it right. This island nation is an intriguing paradox where the number of pets outnumbers the count of children. A shift in demographics and changing attitudes towards pet ownership have led to this fascinating trend. Japan's declining birth rate, coupled with an aging population, has resulted in fewer children. On the other hand, the rise in single-person households and an increasing affinity for pet companionship have contributed to a boom in the pet population. From pet-friendly cafes to luxury pet hotels, the pet industry in Japan is thriving. Pets are pampered with gourmet meals, fashionable clothes, and even spa treatments. They're not just pets, they're treated as family members. In the hustle and bustle of modern life, pets are offering a comforting, loyal presence for many Japanese people. In Japan, it seems, pets are not just pets, they are a part of the family. Japan is home to the world's shortest escalator. Yes, you heard that correctly. Now, while most of us might view escalators as a means to effortlessly ascend or descend multiple floors, the Japanese have taken a more playful approach. Tucked away in the basement of Moore's department store in the bustling city of Kawasaki, this peculiar escalator stands a mere 33 inches high with only five steps. That's right, just five steps. It's as if it was designed for the world's shortest shopping trip, but don't let its size fool you. Despite its miniature stature, this escalator is fully functional and operates just like its larger counterparts. It offers a brief yet amusing ride that seems more like a novelty than a necessity. But that's what makes it so distinctly Japanese. It might not be the most necessary invention, but it's a testament to Japan's love for quirky and interesting things. Ever had a black burger? In Japan, you can. Yes, you heard it right. Some of the fast food chains in Japan have taken their culinary creativity to the next level by introducing burgers that are black in color. But how does a burger turn black, you ask? Well, the secret lies in a combination of bamboo charcoal and squid ink. These two ingredients are used to give the buns, cheese, and even the sauce a dark black color. The bamboo charcoal is known to have health benefits, and the squid ink adds a slight seafood flavor to the dish, making it a unique blend of taste and aesthetics. This innovation is not just a visual spectacle, but also a gastronomical delight. Despite their unusual appearance, these black burgers have gained popularity among locals and tourists alike for their unique taste. It may look unusual, but people say it's delicious. Would you dare to try? In Japan, sleeping on the job isn't frowned upon. Instead, it's a sign of dedication. Now let's dive deeper into this fascinating cultural norm. Here, catching some Zs during work hours is known as inamuri, which loosely translates to sleeping while present. This isn't considered a sign of laziness or a lack of commitment. In fact, it's quite the opposite. This intriguing practice is viewed as a testament to your hard work and dedication. If you're dozing off, it means you've been working so hard that you've become exhausted. 
The social acceptance of Inamori is a reflection of the country's work ethic, where commitment to one's job is highly valued, sometimes to the point of exhaustion. This isn't an invitation to bring your pajamas and blanket to work, though. The rules of Inamori dictate that you must remain upright, appearing ready to jump back into action at any moment. So next time you're feeling sleepy at work, maybe you're just in the wrong country. Imagine sleeping in a pod barely bigger than a coffin. Welcome to Capsule Hotels in Japan. The land of the rising sun is no stranger to innovation, and their concept of affordable, compact lodging is no exception. Enter the world of capsule hotels where the rooms are not rooms at all, but rather small, pod-like spaces stacked neatly on top of each other. With just enough room for a single bed and a tiny TV, these capsules are a testament to Japan's efficient use of space. Capsule hotels were initially designed to provide a cost-effective place to rest for those who missed the last train home. Today, they have evolved into a unique lodging experience attracting both locals and tourists. Despite their minimalistic design, these pods are surprisingly comfortable and equipped with all the essential amenities. It's not just about saving space, but also about providing a unique, streamlined experience. It's a statement, a lifestyle, a glimpse into the future. It's a unique space-saving solution that you'll only find in Japan. In Japan, green means go and blue means also go? That's right, folks. In the land of the rising sun, the traffic light that signals go is, interestingly enough, referred to as blue. Now you might be wondering, why blue when it clearly appears green? Well, it all boils down to the Japanese language. You see, the Japanese word for blue is Ao. But here's the twist. Ao can also mean green in certain contexts. When it comes to traffic lights, the Go light is called Ao, even though it's unmistakably green to most eyes. This is because historically the Japanese language did not distinguish between blue and green as separate colors. So the next time you're navigating the roads of Tokyo or Kyoto, Remember that when the light turns A-O, it's your cue to go. It's a linguistic quirk that's sure to surprise any traveler. In Japan, you can see your meal before you order it, literally. Imagine strolling down a busy street in Tokyo, Osaka, or any other city in Japan. As you pass by various eateries, you'll notice glass displays filled with platters of food. From succulent sashimi to mouth-watering ramen, these dishes look good enough to eat. But hold on, they're not real. This is the long-standing tradition of showcasing lifelike plastic food samples in restaurant windows. These intricate replicas, known as shokuhin sampuru, serve a dual purpose. For one, they offer a visual menu to passers-by, and for those who don't speak Japanese, it's a lifesaver. Secondly, they exhibit the craftsmanship and attention to detail that Japan is so renowned for. Creating these samples is a form of art, requiring skills and patience. The artisans meticulously handcraft each piece to look as delectable and enticing as the actual dish. It's a feast for the eyes, if not for the stomach. Imagine an island ruled by cats. Sound like a dream? In Japan, it's a reality. Welcome to Aoshima, also known as Cat Island. Nestled in Japan's Ehime Prefecture, this small fishing island offers an experience like none other. It's not the emerald green waters or the rustic charm of the village that catch your attention first. Instead, it's the hundreds of feline residents that roam the island freely, outnumbering humans six to one. The story of how Aoshima became a feline haven is an interesting one. The island was once home to a thriving fishing community. However, with the mice population on ships causing havoc, cats were introduced to curb the situation. The cats did their job well, and in the absence of natural predators, their population grew. Over time, as younger residents moved to the mainland seeking better opportunities, the human population dwindled. The cats, however, stayed, their numbers increasing unabated. Today, there are only a handful of human residents left, cohabiting peacefully with their feline counterparts. Despite the lack of amenities like shops or restaurants, tourists from all around the world flock to Aoshima. The allure? the chance to witness the unique spectacle of hundreds of cats lounging around, basking in the sun, playing, or simply observing their two-legged visitors with curious eyes. Though the cats are feral, they've grown accustomed to human interaction, particularly those bearing gifts of food. Visitors are often seen surrounded by a sea of purring felines, all eager for a snack or a scratch behind the ears. The locals and volunteers ensure that the cats are well cared for. Regular feeding schedules are maintained, and healthcare initiatives like vaccination drives and sterilization programs are in place to keep the cat population healthy and in check. 
Aoshima provides a glimpse into a world where cats reign supreme, a world that seems straight out of a feline lover's dream. It's a testament to the harmonious coexistence of man and animal, a place where the hustle and bustle of city life give way to the soothing purrs of contented cats. It's a must-visit destination for any cat lover, just be sure to pack some cat treats.